We are going to present the case study of the Hasbro Interactive. In 1933, Henry Hessenfeld founded Hasbro in Rhode Island. It turned into toys manufacturer in 1940s. After decades of growing, Hasbro went public in 1968. In 1995, Alan Hessenfeld, the CEO of Hasbro, created the Hasbro Interactive as a separate independent division from Hasbro. In order to enter the interactive games, he appointed Tom Dusenberry, an ambitious rising star, to take charge of the company. In 1996, Hasbro reached three billion in revenues. Under the pressure of the Hasbro corporate office, it continually raised the revenue target to 200 million. Even though the actual outcome was slightly short, Hasbro Interactive still showed a significant growth in 1998. In 1999, affected by the previous success, there was a talk about Hasbro Interactive reaching a 1 billion in revenues. However, it turned out to be a loss of 74 million on the 236 million in revenues. In 2001, Hasbro sold Hasbro Interactive to a French company. Finally, we will analyze three main issues involved: the conflict issues, decision-making issues, and the motivation issues. Com- conflict issues. Hasbro faces two major conflicts. One is within Hasbro Interactive. The other one is within Hasbro and Hasbro Interactive. Within the Hasbro Interactive, Jackie Dyer changed the financial system without negotiating with Mr. Dusenberry, which was not welcomed by the management team. He came up with two approaches: delay in transferring contract information from PayPal to financial system, and the new system did not fit the business of the Hasbro Interactive. Mr. Dusenberry feels Ms. Dyer's idea caused the team to lose confidence. It is obvious that an intra-group conflict exists because there was a strong disagreement between Ms. Dyer and the management team. There are three conflict issues between Hasbro Interactive and Hasbro. The first conflict is that Hasbro had a weak control on Hasbro Interactive. In 1998, Hasbro Interactive initiated monopoly promotion with Burger King, while Hasbro already had a monopoly promotion with McDonald's. Hasbro Interactive had a little interaction with other divisions of Hasbro. Second, business information that was considered standard within Hasbro was unavailable within Hasbro Interactive. The third conflict is that Hasbro installed a new financial reporting software package, which did not fit Hasbro Interactive. The three reasons are. The first, lack of communication between each party. Communication is a fundamental component of the management. Hasbro and Hasbro Interactive did not communicate effectively in the monopoly's promotion. Hasbro Interactive believed that they were familiar with their brands, and they did not need to interact with Hasbro. Second, the interpersonal issue also plays an important role here. Ms. Dyer has an antagonism personality. She thought the management team should put her idea in place without thinking the uncertainties of using the new system. Her personality and emotions led to the conflict with the management team. Third, an imperfection company structure led to the conflict. Within Hasbro Interactive, employees in different positions had different interests. Ms. Ms. Dyer kept an eye on cost when she replaced the position of. The CFO for Hasbro Interactive managers, they focused more on the inventory and the product development. The change of the financial system has negatively affected the interest of the management team. Second, decision making, including the goal setting problem, people suffer from the common bias when making a decision. So the most obvious ones here are overconfidence bias, availability bias, escalation of commitment, and the confirmation bias. The success of previous years' operation affirmed Mr. Dusenberry's confidence. Therefore, he made a higher target of one billion for 1999, which seems unrealistic at the moment. Availability bias. The CEO focused more attention on operations rather than financial issues, since he had more availability information about operations, which led to the dysfunction of the financial monitoring system and excessive initial costs. Escalation of commitment. Mr. Dusenberry kept in large investments into operation, even though some of them were already shown not as effective as expected. Confirmation buyers. The Wall Street's encouragement confirmed the company's belief that it can accomplish the target, and the negative comments from the public were easily ignored. In addition, due to the unique personality of Mr. Dusenberry, the decision-making process suffered from those buyers more severely.
As for goal setting, they made a decision of an unachievable target. In order to achieve the aggressive goals of 1 billion, most of all the company's risky initiatives have to be succeed. Dusan Barry and his team signed dozens of product developers and made agreements with outsider developers, incorrectly setting the goals and followed by a rough plan, eventually led to the problem of confidence loss, and the company ended up with an unusually high number of divisions, which was over their budget. Besides, organizational structure influenced the decision making. Firstly, the performance evaluation and the related reward system. Next, formal regulation. Without it, the interactive can be easily subjective to the group think. When Mr. Dusenberry came up with a 1 billion target, nobody took action to stop it. On one hand, the right was in the control of Mr. Dusenberry. On the other hand, it is because the group think. Under the group think, everyone in the Hasbro Interactive seemed to be believing the goals could be realized and the colleagues tend to shut down the different ideas. The next is the motivation. Motivation is influenced by both extrinsic and intrinsic outcomes. For Hasbro Interactive, it would be the hottest division of the Hasbro. For Dusan Barry, the rewards from the Hasbro provide him with extrinsic incentives. Intrinsically, Dusan Barry can exercise his leadership and capability as a top leader of Hasbro Interactive and head to the aim of ending with Alan Hasenfeld's job. According to the expectation theory, People will be motivated to perform in those work activities that they find attractive and they feel they can accomplish. Therefore, a specific challenging and reachable goal should be set to motivate people to higher performance. However, when the goal is unreachable, people become demotivated, which is based on the RSA animate. Once the tasks need more cognitive skills, the result will be the higher bonuses the poor performance. In Hasbro Interactive, it is quite obvious that their goal of 1 billion revenue was not reachable. Because of that, the company took the risky initiatives to achieve it and made the company under higher risk. Later, it suffered more failures both in operation and financing. Dilson Barry and employees' motivation was lost when all the negative outcomes appeared and became demotivated. Then comes to the recommendation part. First, communication enhancement. In order to enhance the communication between Hasbro and Hasbro Interactive, we suggest that Hasbro Interactive could have a weekly meeting and report to Alan Hasenfeld monthly. It is more helpful for Hasbro to control if they know the process in Hasbro Interactive. Next, they can create an effective communication channel for their employees, which can reduce the negative impact of groupthink. Employees can have the right to speak out their opinions through a monthly meeting or anonymous email to the management team. Besides, providing in-time feedback and recognition are also important and will motivate the employees. Moreover, employees should understand the company's goal. They must have the same interest when they meet with the problems. If Ms. Dyer and the management team understand the goal and align with the interests, they may mitigate the conflicts. It is also a good way to strengthen the company structure. Second, revise the performance evaluation and the reward system. As the previous reward system provides staff with a one-time cash bonus, it only triggers the motivational effect in the short term. Besides, it can be demotivated severely once the staff cannot get the bonus. For empirical studies, the stock options can provide the employee with the incentives to increase the firm's value as they want to increase the value of their stocks. Within the vesting period attached to a stock, the employee cannot exercise the option. The motivational effect can be lasting in the long run. Therefore, it's better to combine the long-term incentives with the short-term incentives. The revised entire reward system contains a cash bonus and the stock options. Whenever the organization achieves a strong performance, the staff will be provided with a package of the cash bonus and the stock options together. In addition, instead of attaching the bonus to the profits, we add more non-financial performance measurements. The balanced scorecards which include the financial performance, customer satisfaction, new product development time, and employee turnover, and the return rate of the product. Each category is ranking between 1 and 10. The higher the better. Finally, the score is calculated averaged and the matching bonus is determined. Thirdly, a mechanism for decision making. The main issue for the decision making comes from the bias and the absence of formal regulation. 
Therefore, formal mechanism is necessary to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of decision making. Firstly, every proposal suggested that amounting more than one million, no matter from the senior managers or Mr. Dusenberry, should be discussed in the meeting of the senior management. The related department is required to provide a detailed analysis related. Then, an anonymous voting is conducted to determine the final decision in the division. As the industry has a tradition to take more risks, the projects need to have more than 70% of the voting to be in the next stage. Lastly, Hasbro needs to appoint at least two experts to re-examine the feasibility of the entire project and make sure it is in line with the firm's interest. Fourthly, the goal setting program. Hasbro Interactive's goals should be set at a base of long-term and short-term. Long-term goals include lifetime and capstone goals. Short-term goals include fundamental goals and provisional goals. Based on the previous growth rate that Hasbro Interactive had, the revenue of $1 billion should be set at over 10 years space, and it's better to maintain a reasonable growth rate based on the historical data. For capstone goals, Hasbro Interactive should work hard in order to maintain their growth rate at the same level. Short-term goals should be set like all the product development is done in the year before the deadline. Lastly, the training program. In order to motivate other Hasbro Interactives, it is better to strengthen their autonomy, competence, and relatedness, especially on the competence. One of the important ways to narrow the gap between the current capabilities and the abilities required for a higher target. Interactive should have a progressive training system to equip the staff with adequate technique skills in time, and the system should be updated timely to meet the needs of the company. In order to create a nice working atmosphere, the management team of Hasbro and Hasbro Interactive can introduce monthly communication skills workshops to train the employees and have better interactions.